All right, we're here talking about that. So yeah. just just to, <laughs> just fun. just in case you didn't follow that, here's what's going to happen. Everybody who wants to go to work in the morning on I-64 coming into town means you're going to have to take I-71 now or go over to the Waterson Expressway. It's going the, out of going out of town you know should what? be okay. It's the unofficial start to summer construction. It, it's the season. Well, <laughs> well, we want to point out that going out of town should be okay because yeah. the eastbound lanes are going to stay open. A little mm -hmm. bit of a traffic headache there, but it's going to be a nicer road for everybody afterwards. Well, hopefully you you'll let us have the windows down and enjoy <laughs> the time sitting in traffic. It depends how much heat you can take. We've got some of that hot weather on the way. The first 90s of the season, not too far off. Looks like Friday, that'll be our, our first chance. And we were actually weren't far off that today. Like clockwork, you get to the maximum heating in the afternoon, you start to billow up these cumulus clouds and a few grow tall enough to become cumulonimbus or uh, producing some rainfall. So we do have a couple of downpours out there. Most of the showers have been lining up along into the west of Interstate 65. So you see the western half of the area has a, a little bit of more red dotting in some sp spots and then it's drier off to the east. And so we just have a couple of these showers and thunderstorms just kind of hit or miss and a really beneficial impact. We need this rainfall. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough of it around the area. As we look around the metro, we've got a tiny little shower that's uh, just popped up on the west end, also over Valley Station near Elizabeth, Indiana. Uh, notice the nature of these pop up showers and thunderstorms. They develop over one area for maybe 15 minutes and then they collapse and then kind of pop up in another area. This one uh, between Corden and Palmyra. Every once in a while, maybe a rumble of thunder, some brief gusty winds, but uh, most of these showers don't even have very much wind. As we look off to the south, you can see a few of these uh, hit or miss splash and dash variety showers and thunderstorms through parts of uh, Grayson into Hart in Greene County, just south of Greensburg. You've got a few of those lightning strikes as well. And again, uh, pretty much the majority of any of these pop up showers off to the west of I-65 over southern Indiana. Switching over to future cast, this, uh, this activity like yesterday and again, like clockwork, will diminish right around sunset. We lose the daytime heating as we start to lose that sunshine and we lose the energy for any of those showers and thunderstorms. It will be a warm and summer like night, low temperatures in the upper 60s and tomorrow uh, some drier air begins to slide in. So not expecting as many pop ups, just about a 20% chance of that in the afternoon with our high temperatures uh, in the upper 80s uh, to nearly 90 degrees in the city for our Thursday afternoon into Friday. It does look like we'll be in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So a brief hot stretch on the way into our Crusade for Children weekend 92 Friday 93 on Saturday. Uh, the good thing is, yes, we have some high heat, but we have some low humidity on the way and then the temperatures back down as we go into next week. Our humidity tracker a bit humid again for tomorrow like it is out there today. Then drier air begins to slide in. So it I wouldn't call it comfortable heat, but it's about as comfortable as it can get with those 90s on the way. Live view out there now. High today 88, 6 above our average high and 6 off the record of 94 degrees and across the area we are in the low to mid 80s unless you got one of those showers and that dropped you down to 69 in Hardensburg and 72 in Litchfield. So our UV index will stay very high over the next several days. Remember that sunscreen if you're going to be out and about. Again, those summer like temps are on the way with the 60s tonight. And highs in the upper 80s for tomorrow. That little stretch of lower 90s with dry weather and a lot of sunshine this weekend. And then feeling better with lower 80s into next week.